Hello. Are you awake? It's morning. It's great to see you slept through the night. My name's Muir. Lana told me to come get you. It's a pleasure to meet you. How are you feeling this morning? Have you gotten enough rest? Ah, well. It's okay. In some cases, it takes time. You'll improve in time. Yeah. I brought you some food to eat. I picked them fresh on my way down the path. This one is a Bilba snatch. Isn't it interesting? Its dark burgundy color and round appearance are a bit intimidating to humans, but we love them. The animals almost always get to them before we do. It's hard to acquire one. Go on, bite right into it. It's crisp, but it tastes almost buttery. I love them. Their smooth texture and sweet taste are delectable. You should also try the Renusas. They are similar to your earth berries, but these are so much smaller, aren't they? They are so potent for their size. Go ahead. They are like a breath of fresh air, cold and refreshing. That will wake you right up, like a splash on your face from that river over there. Yes, they're intense. You can't have too many of them, or the vapors will make your eyes water. Oh, that one. They are called oolongs. They are my favorite. Hmm. How do I describe them? Oolons are produced by the lawn plant Lorien, which was given to us by a lawn king thousands of years ago. It's a peace offering. They are very different from anything you've probably ever tasted. They grow in crunchy, grain-like clusters off the vines of the lawn plant. You see that? The cerulean-colored nectar. It's a sweet substance made from its flowers, and the reluvians pollinate and inhabit the area. They are a type of small creature that pollinate a few different plants on this side of Blumerance. It's kind of difficult to describe. Just go ahead and taste it. I'm glad you like it. They're very nourishing. All right, well. <laughs> I must attend to my duties. You can come along with me as I go about my morning tasks. I take care of the animals. They're very sweet. First, I go to see the mongoons. They're a small creature that eat the shrubbery around the trees in the forest. Just this way. There are usually many of them near here. Where are you, little one? I know you're hiding. Oh, where are you? Got you! Hi there, little one. Come closer, human. They won't hurt you. They are ferocious to the greenery, but they won't harm you. See, isn't she soft? I have quite a fluffy fur to keep them warm at night. Oh, look, there's one of her friends. 
it looks as though they're doing well. No injuries to be found. If they were hurt, they would be in a frenzy. A fortnight ago, I came across one that had fallen into a large creek. He's a curious little one, so I brought him to the healers to keep an eye on his recovery. Now I will go to see the Ronduit's domain. They are a little more aggressive, but don't worry. They just put up an appearance of fierceness. Inside, they are just like the Mongoons. Kind and docile. Where are you, Ronduit? I know you're here somewhere. What are you doing? I'm sure you didn't mean to frighten us. Hmm. Well. Come here, then. I can see you are injured already. See, human. He has hurt himself. There, on his front left paw. Oh. Don't you growl at him. This human is nice, and I'm sure you don't mean to growl at me, do you? That's right. Good. Alright. I'm going to clean and heal this small injury. Yes, I can heal small things. Mira must have told you. She loves talking about how we possess the ability to use the energy from the planet. However, I can only heal small things. If they have broken something, I must take them to the healers. Or call one here. Yes, Riv is a healer. However, she only does certain elixirs. We have other animal healers who practice specific healing techniques for the wildlife of this forest. There, there, Ronduit. You're doing fine. Such a fierce one, yes. Human, go ahead, pet him. What a sweetie. Okay. Farewell, Ronduit. I will check up on you tomorrow. Come along, human. We will go along my usual routine and keep an eye out for the inhabitants. Oh, you see over there? That is an Aravond. They are creatures of the air and keep to themselves mostly. But isn't their black fur so beautiful? Almost woven with iridescence. Careful. Before you step, that small creature is called a vinipin. They're very slow and easy to miss. Human, come here quickly. There is the dryden. They're very rare. I hardly get to see them, because they're rarely out during the day. They're mysterious black scales, hiding them in the night. I wonder if he's alright. If you'd like, you can stay here. He won't hurt you, but his appearance is quite striking. Okay, brave human. Come along. Hello, Dryden. 
Oh. You've injured your wing. It's not a horrible injury, so I will just use a bit of magic to close and manage the wound. It will only take just a little while. The Dryden are the most fierce of all animals here. You may think this planet is only peaceful. However, there are many beings in this universe who would like to change that. The Dryden were created by a mage here on Valimerance to protect and watch over the planet when we were in dire need. She wove magic into these creatures. They guard us from all that would try to harm our planet and its inhabitants. Long ago, these creatures never existed. Their beauty created by the mage. What forced such magic into existence was the war threatening our people. It was unlike anything Valimerance had ever seen. We are a peaceful land, however, our portals were open to many outside worlds. Leaders from these worlds began to pay visits, wishing us good fortune with their words, but in their hearts was greed and bloodlust. Runuit, the kind, was queen of Valimerance. She saw their intentions, but believed they could change, for she saw good in the hearts of many. However, Bellerophona the Great, a powerful mage and the fiercest of all Valerians, saw their deception. Believing them a people of perpetual desire, she was not fooled by the little warmth they carried in their hearts. She believed it was a fleeting feeling, tossed aside by their need for excess. Bellerophona implored the queen asking her to send all the outside world travelers away and to close the portals. However, Ronuit did not heed the warning. One night, Dayan, the king of a zealous warrior planet called Vaughn, attacked the Limerence. They poured in by the thousands on flying creatures from their planet. They were so powerful and corrupt with evil worse than anything Vlerophona had ever imagined possible. The slaughter had begun, and in horror and outrageous indignation, Vlerophona began a new kind of magic. With all her newfound rage and love for her people, she created the Dryden. Dark, magnificent creatures emerged one by one. Their long-winged bodies covered in onyx scales. They moved with grace and fought with honor. After unleashing the new protectors on Valimerance, Bellerophona collapsed into a death-like sleep, not even witnessing the power she unleashed, her very creations protecting her as she fell. It is said that she forced her own self into the state to keep from releasing a greater rage onto the Vaughan people. Never forgetting their treachery and always keeping watch over our people. However, there is a legend of the lone Vaughan who woke the Dryden mage. But that is a story for another time. The healing is complete. Now, I will take you to the moon embankment. Keep an eye out for the different animals you will see on your way there. Thank you for coming along with me all day. The animals seem to really like you. All right, well, I'm going to leave you here at the moon embankment. Isn't this a beautiful opening of the forest? We all like to spend time here observing the stars. I talked to the others, and we're going to take you to the east end tonight, 
to return to your portal, which will take you home. I'm going to go gather the others. However, some of them are going about their duties and will join us along the journey.